afternoon everybody and welcome to my latest video I've had a request from Dave hi Dave Dave says how about a summary of the Marmot Tours classic calls of the Dolomites stick around here it comes now you may have seen that I have made six yes count them six little videos only about 10 minutes each of the week that I spent in the Dolomites and I know some of you may not want to watch all of those six little videos so here's a little summation of the trip first of all what was it like it was great next thing who organized it well it was organized by Marmot Tours great little company organized cycling tours in Europe now I've done two of their tours before the Raid Alpine and the Raid Pyrenean. The thing about a Raid is it's basically an A to B trip. So you have to cover the miles each day in order to get to your next hotel and you have to do it in a certain, certain time scale. Now that adds an extra level of difficulty, it adds an extra level of excitement, but it's also quite hard. So if you're getting on in years and you like a slightly easier life, then a classic Coles trip is a good alternative. Now a classic Coles, and they do one in Grand Canaria, they do one in the Alps, and they do the one in the Dolomites, they do one in the Picos in Spain. The one that I did was called the classic Coles of the Dolomites. And, and what it is, is a week long trip and it's a bit more of a cycling holiday because each day they give you a classic route or they give you a challenge route and the challenge route is longer and it's got more climbing so you can make a choice each day depending on how you feel or how strong you feel or how much climbing or cycling you want to do as to which one you choose and unlike the raids where you change hotels every night which can be a bit of a pain you get in at the end of a long day cycling you have a shower you have your dinner and then you've got to pack up because you're off after breakfast the next morning the thing about a classic tour, tour at least in the Dolomites is you get two days in three different hotels and then one day in the final hotel so you get a bit more chance to uh, rest up and relax which which is nice if I'm honest so how much climbing and how much cycling did I actually do now I went on the trip intending hoping expecting that I would do the challenge route each day in fact, apart from the first day when I did half of the challenge route, although not all of it, I did the classic route each day. And in total, I did 239.1 miles and 33,861 feet of climbing. And that's in the six days of the cycling that I did. Now, those are quite impressive numbers. But when you consider that some of the guys I was with who did the challenge route each day would have totaled around about 400 miles and about 55,000 feet of climbing you can see that the opportunity is there if you want to do more riding and you want to do more cycling now we spent uh, four days in the Dolomites area and then a couple of days in the sort of Stelvio Bormio area and there was a coach transfer of about three hours between them which was no trouble at all the best climb I would have to say was the Stelvio, uh, 47 hairpins, distance of about 25 kilometers, and it's just the most, um, what's the word, it's the most interesting, it's the most fascinating, it's the most spectacular of the climbs that we did. The hardest climb would be the Mortirolo. Uh, the Mortirolo is about 12 kilometers long on an average 10.8%. It is steep, it is unrelenting, it is hard. The best descent, probably the descent off the Stelvio, because it's a long descent down to Bormio, with a series of hairpin bends, but then a series of fairly straight sections. So you can get up a nice turn of speed and you can see quite some distance ahead of you which is uh, always nice when you're descending the other really nice descent was off the gavia although not the first part of the descent the last part of the descent which was about 10k when you were coming into Bormio 
was a relatively uh, straight, relatively flattish, but downhill, obviously, road, and not a quiet road. So you could look a long distance ahead of you. You could really get up a nice head of speed. It was a fabulous descent. The scenery throughout the whole week is superb. It's wonderful. Superlatives can't do it superlative justice. The best scenery on any single day was probably the Salamonda route of the Maratona uh, Sportive, uh, which is uh, not a long route, it's about 38 miles, but with four climbs, so uh, uh, quite a lot of climbing, quite a hard day. The hotels that we stayed in were very nice, uh, the food that we had was very good. Um, the cost of the, hotel, of the trip was uh, 1420 pounds plus a 300 pound single room supplement slightly less because I got a 5% uh, discount because I've done some Marmot, Marmot tours before now I haven't done any other cycle tours except with Marmot tours so it's a bit difficult for me to comment on the price I think the price is reasonable I think the price is fair what you get in return I think it represents good value that price doesn't include flights by the way one thing I would say is that when I don't mind paying a single room supplement if I'm staying in a double room on my own. I think if you're staying in a single room, you shouldn't pay a single room supplement. After all, who else are they going to let the room to other than a single person? So one of the hotels we stayed in, it was a single room with a single bed. Uh, two of the other hotels we stayed in, I would call it a single room, even though it had a double bed. If there were two people in, in the room, frankly, I don't see where you'd put your kit. I don't see how you'd avoid each other. Um, I don't think it would be that comfortable. So good value, slight caveat around the single room supplement. Marmot Tours provide two vans. Uh, which transport your day bag, which contains anything that you might need for the day. And then the other van uh, transports your hotel bag, which is all your, your kind of overnight stuff. And they also transport your bike boxes if you bought your own bicycle. Uh, the vans stop at the top of climbs or at the bottom of climbs or regularly along the route. Uh, so you can access your day bag and get your warm weather clothes or your rain clothes out of your bag or, or anything you have in your bag that you need and you don't want to carry with you on the bike. And on the van they have snacks, they have water, they have uh, hand gel to clean your hands, they have fruit, they have cake, they have nuts, they have crisps. Big selection of food to fuel you on the road. They do have some uh, energy gels but you are better off carrying your own energy gels because everyone has quite individual tastes as to which gel or, or type of energy bar they, they prefer. So rely on the van for snacks but make sure you've got some food in your back pocket you may just need it. Uh, it's also worthwhile carrying uh, a, a wind jacket or a rain jacket because you never know when you're in the mountains when the uh, temperature might change, it might suddenly become cold and you might not see the van immediately. So the vans are pretty much always there when you need them but it's best to be safe. The tour guides that we had and the tour guides that I've had on all the Marmot tours that I've done have been excellent. We had three guides on this trip because one of them was in training. Um, normally there, there are two guides and the three guides were Pedro, uh, Cristel and David. And it gave, because there were three rather than two, it gave each of them an opportunity to ride their bikes on a couple of days with us as a group which was which was nice for them it gave us some cycle, gave them some cycling uh, and it was also nice for us to see one of them on the road but generally they are in the van and they are supporting you and the other trips that I've been done where there are two guides one of them is not riding their bike they are both there to support you so uh, I'm very pleased with Marmot Tours uh, happy to uh, give them a recommendation. I certainly plan on booking more tours with them. As I say, I haven't tried anybody else, but frankly, I've been so happy with them that I have no need or intention of trying anybody else. So, hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you're interested in the classic coals of the Dolomites, I can highly recommend this trip. If you're interested in my videos or anything that you've seen, please click the subscribe button, which you can see below. If you want to ask me any questions, either about this video or any of the other videos that I've done, or like Dave, you have a request for a video that you'd like to make, then please add that in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.